Wouldn't it be great to log your time for the whole day with a single click? With automation and tempo timesheets on Jira Cloud, this is a reality. Using the automation features in my work, the time spent on your work activities in certain applications is tracked behind the scenes. Then at the end of the day, you can log your time to all these activities in just one click. Let me show you what it's about. Here at Lunar Industries, I'm a team lead who has lots of meetings that are already in my Office 365 calendar. And I also spend some time working in Jira. The front-end developers in my team spend most of their day working in VS Code and Jira and don't really like to log their time. So here's how we get set up with automation so that we can log time to all our activities in the fastest and easiest way possible. The first thing to do is to connect calendars and apps to my work. I'll click the little gear up here and then click Settings under Activities. And here I can see and connect the different providers that are available for tracking my activities. I could also go to the Tempo Apps page and connect all of these providers from there. It does the same thing, but it's just more convenient for me to use this from my work. I'll start by connecting my Office 365 calendar by clicking this icon. And then I need to choose one of the calendar connection options. I'll leave Enhanced on because it lets me use Tempo's automation, which gives me intelligent suggestions based on where I have spent my time, from my calendar events and also from working in different applications. With the basic option, I can still log time to my calendar events, but without using intelligent suggestions. This option may be required if your organization has data retention limitations. Now I sign in with my Office 365 account, enter my email, and click Next. If I had more than one account, I would select my work-related one here, since I'll be logging time only to my work-related events. Then I click Go to My Work, and I see my calendar events show up here as activity cards. In the filter up here, I can hide or display these cards by toggling the calendar's checkbox. I also spend a lot of time in Jira and want to track my activities there so that I can easily log time to them here. Since Tempo runs inside Jira, I don't have to connect it like I did my calendar. So I just check its box, and cards based on my activities in Jira show up too. These are Jira issues that I've done something in, like adding notes or changing a status or time estimate. They're not necessarily Jira issues that are assigned to me, but I can still log my time to them. Now I'll show you how the devs on my team get set up. They spend most of their day working in their dev environment, so they have Tempo's VS Code extension app connected to my work. And you can install it from the apps page that you saw earlier. In the filter in my work, Visual Studio Code is switched on. And now as they work in VS Code, this app automatically tracks the time that they spend on coding activities and changes made to files in their Git repositories. And this can be things like saving a file, committing it, or checking it out from GitHub. Then back in my work, their activities show up as cards, just like the Jira activities did for me. This code didn't have a Jira issue key for the branch name, but if it did, that Jira issue key would be in the field here. And then the dev could log time to this activity in a single click. But before I show you how easy it is to log time, let me explain a bit about how the activities work. So I'm looking at these cards in the list view, but I can switch to the calendar to see the cards in an agenda format. I find this view useful for checking if there are some activities that overlap in time. Tempo can show only one card for a time slot, so there's kind of a pecking order that is respected among the activities. For example, I have a plan that's booked here, and it takes precedence over calendar events and JIRA activities that happen at the same time. If I don't need to work on the plan at exactly that time, I can move it to another time slot and then the other activities magically appear. Also, calendar events have precedence over JIRA and VS Code activities. And for this reason, you should always be aware of the start and end times when you create plans or calendar events. As my day goes on and events are added to my calendar or I work on JIRA issues, more activities are automatically added to my work. 
I don't have to lift a finger or remember exactly what I did today, which makes my life so much easier. So now I'm finally ready to log my time for the day. If all the activity cards in this section look correct, I simply click Log Activities at the top of the day. And this logs time to all of those activity cards in one shot. One thing I noticed is that there's an activity card here that wasn't included when I clicked Log Activities. And notice this little warning sign? My work calls these incomplete activities because there wasn't enough information from them to simply click Log Activities and go, like I could for the others. For example, on this calendar event, somebody, <clears throat> not me of course, forgot to add the JIRA issue key to the meeting's title in Office 365. So to fix that, I click Edit and select the issue to which I want to log that time. And now I'm done for the day. In this filter, I can even turn off incomplete activities so that they don't show up in my work. But I'll leave them on because they're easy to fix. In addition to logging time to all my activities at once, I can also log time to one activity at a time. And what if I want to make some changes to any of the activities before I log my time to them? No problem. I just click Edit, change the amount of time I spent on the JIRA issue in this case, and then log my time. One more thing to know is that if I delete a time record that came from an activity, the original activity card returns, so no information is lost. And I can undo the deletion down here if I change my mind. So that's how easy it is to track and log time to your activities with Tempo Automation. There's a little bit of setup, but once that's done, keeping track of your day's work couldn't be easier. And I think that even my developers won't mind logging their time now. 